Good morning. My name's Ken, and I would like to share the children's chat story with you today. But before we start, I would like to have ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to take in a big, deep breath of air. Take in as much as you can and hold it. Just hold it in. I'll do it with you. So when I say three, we'll all take a big deep breath together and hold on to it. One, two, ready? Three. <clears throat> okay, now that you're holding your breath, I want you to take and try and take in another deep breath. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay. You can let it out and breathe normal now. How was that? So what do you think? Could you take in as much air the second time as you could the first? Why not? That's right. You couldn't get as much air because you were still holding on to that first breath of air. The way breathing works is that you have to let go of the first breath in order to be able to get the second breath. But if you think about it, that's kind of scary. We're letting go of something we need, like air, before we actually have the next amount of the thing that we need. We have to trust that there will be more for us after we let out our breath, that there'll be more air for us to be able to take in. In today's Bible story, we hear a similar thing happen. In today's scripture story, there's a man who asks Jesus how he can better receive what God is offering. So Jesus tells the man that he has to give away, or let go of, the one thing the man thinks he needs so that he can receive from God the next thing he needs. Sounds like breathing, right? Except for this man, letting go of that first thing was a really hard thing for him to do. It was so hard for the man to let go of that the man actually gave up and walked away. He couldn't let go. Jesus then tells his disciples, this is a very hard thing to do. So the disciples ask, yeah, we see that. How can anyone do this? And Jesus says, for God, all things are possible. What Jesus means by, for God, all things are possible, is that we are not expected to do things on our own. Instead, we are expected to ask for God's help. Not just with the big things, but also the small things. But in order to receive God's help, we sometimes have to let go of something else we have to let out that first breath so that we can make room to have that second breath. It sounds a little scary, I know, which is why I'm thankful we have these stories about Jesus that show us what happens when we ask for God's help and make room in our lives to receive God's help. We see Jesus share God's healing, forgiveness, mercy, and love many, many times with many people. And when we ask for God's help and make room in our lives to receive God's help, then we can do those same things that Jesus did because all things are possible for God. And that's the good news for today. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus who shows us how to receive more of your gifts by sharing the gifts you've already given us. Thank you and amen. Have a great day.